Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Today I'm sure this 2007 Honda Step Wagon that just came in. It's got 105,500 kilometers on it, which is right at 65,000 miles. Before we get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Used Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get your silver driver's licenses, there are benefits to doing it that way. So with that, let's go ahead and take a look around. We'll show the features inside, but first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. going to answer a lot of your questions. So things like the, uh, the JCI, the warranty, the uh, road tax, I cover all that and more. So please bear with me until the end. You have all the answers. If not, go to contact me or stop on by. This Honda Step Wagon is a uh, eight passenger vehicle in the 500 series category, so the mid-size category. Road tax per year is going to be uh, 7,500 yen, which is about $40 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we'll take care of it for you this year. You won't have to worry about it until next. Now you do have two ways to pay for it. First one being US dollars cash out rate, which could get you a larger discount, or you can take advantage of zero percent financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Uh, before we go inside, I was like showing the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is you can even cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out, and always get yourself a good windshield visor. So let's jump on in. It's pretty clean for just coming in. All right, so I'm not sure if you saw the headlights. I'll show you the headlights again. Extremely clear headlights, which is always a bonus. All right, let's uh, turn that radio off. Sorry, Troy. All right. Under 5,608 on the odometer. So there's a couple of warning lights here. Uh, that um, obviously the, the bottom one is your low fuel uh, light. Obviously it just came in, so we gotta put some fuel in it. Uh, the one above that, that light green one, light blue one, that is your new temperature gauge. So it's gonna be light green when the engine's cool, when the engine warms up, it'll go away, and then it'll be red if it's overheating. Be on the lookout for that. The one to the immediate left of it is your emergency brake. It's not a little, see, so it's just warmed up, so it, it's uh, done already. But uh, it's not a low pressure tire gauge. This one is a kick type. So when you kick it, disengage, it goes away. Kick it again, comes right back on. And then obviously the one above it is your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give the tickets on and off base. Other than that, it's a very simple, uh, straightforward, straight ahead, but it's a very long uh, instrument cluster. Off to the left here, you do have your, um, your air conditioning controls, the um, uh, odometer and fuel. This is where all your warning lights are gonna come on. And then your RPMs and speed. Anything comes up on the dash while you're driving, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. In front of you on the dash here, you do have a couple of compartments here for some storage, okay? Then you have your radio. This one does have a rear camera, air conditioning controls, shifter. I don't know what that thing is, but you have a little compartment, two compartments here for some storage. Also storage, not sure where you're gonna put back and put in there. And then cup holders and maybe a coin slot. And then a little more storage down there. Uh, off to the left here, you do have your glove box, and then a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel, okay? That is your passenger space over there. You got your red roof flare hanging out over there, then this is the space I have on my side. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Uh, the seat is all the way, oh, well, now it's all the way back, sorry, let me uh, adjust that. Yep, seat it now is all the way back, all the way down. Um, I'm still comfortable driving right where I am, or I could uh, uh, slide it up a few inches and still be comfortable driving. Uh, up here, you do have a uh, compartment for sunglasses. And then this one, if you uh, go almost all the way, uh, uh, close it, and then let it go, hey, there you go. It's gonna stop here so you can see the uh, back passengers a little bit better. All right, let's go eye level here. That's my eye level. Really can't see anything past the, wind past the windshield wipers like on most vehicles, all right. Now normally this is the time I show you the auction sheet showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind, non-accident vehicle from mainland. All these other dealers out here can't say that. We can for every single car. But because it just came in, I keep those inside until it's been detailed. Once it's been detailed, I'm gonna put it up here on the sun visor on the driver's side so you can see for yourself. And before I forget, I've been doing pretty good. These do have armrests, all right? So let's show you a couple other things before we go to the uh, back seat or the second row. Uh, this one does have dual power sliding doors. A little compartment here, again, made for some coins or whatnot and another coin slot and then you do have your gas cover release and your hood release please don't forget those down here all right and then on the door you have your uh mirror door lock door locks and uh window controls right here all right let's turn this off go to the second row here now on these uh, sliding doors they open up from the left side okay you have your space back here 
All right, so these seats are all the way back, or now it's all the way back. You can slide these forward if, if you need be, depending on how much space you need in the back. But I'm, I'm always going to leave them in the back and then show you how much space I have. I'm a good five inches away from the back seat to my knees. Um, each seat back does have pocket storage. Uh, as always, be careful what you put in there. You don't want to um, uh, rip it. And then it does have um, uh, cup holders on each sliding door. All right. And then it does have a small armrest here. Doesn't stay exactly. Oh, this one does stay level. All right. And then you do have the controls for the fan back here. Uh, and then it does have vents that go all the way back. All right. And then to get to the back seat, all you're going to do is lift this up. And oh, that's right in my face. It is getting very windy here. I'm not sure what's going on. And all this debris just went into my face. All right. And that's how easy it is to get to the back. All right. All right. And pull this one time, then it goes. So the back area here. Okay. That's your uh, uh, space back here. Obviously, one seat is already up. And that's the, uh, your space that you have for your rear passengers as far as legroom. Again, you can slide those uh, forward uh, a little bit to give your uh, customers or customers or your passengers a little bit more space. And you see here, you, uh, in order to put it up against the side, these these two have to be uh, matching. But you could also slide this backwards. All right. So you can slide those back. That was about two and a half inches that you can slide this back. And now look how much space you have. And then you have cup holders over here and behind here. So to put those up. You can pause the video right there so you can see for yourself how easy it is, okay? All right. Let's go to the front here, show you the engine compartment. They're going to wrap this video up. There you go. All right, and there you have it. This is the uh, two liter, the good old VTEC engine, which will be clean. It's actually pretty nice. Somebody actually took care of this car. Look at those uh, headlights, as I said. Extremely clear headlights. Those might be brand new. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, actually touch that up during the detailing process. So there you have it. 2007 Honda Step Wagon, 105 and a half thousand kilometers on it, which is right at 65,000 miles. All right, uh, military price goes down to 50. Goes down to 50. Or I'm sorry, military price goes down to 5,000. With an additional military discount, we'll get it down to 4,800. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on the lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. But for now, the 4,800 is going to include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty, the 2022 road tax, and a 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top is going to be the American insurance requirement, whether you go liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Um, touching on these warranties real quick. Yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread. Uh, don't be fooled by them. So stop by. We'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have. But definitely stop by Johnny's Used Cars. Let us show what we have, what our program's all about, and how we're going to assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. Stop by by. We'll show you why, like we have many, many others. Don't forget two ways to pay for it. U.S. dollars cash outright. Or take advantage of 0% finance of 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.